Welcome to British Biomedicine Clinical Trials BBMCT. Today we will explore tardive dyskinesia, a rare disorder, pathophysiology, etiology and complications. Tardive dyskinesia is a side effect of antipsychotic medications. These drugs are used to treat schizophrenia and other mental health disorders. TD causes stiff, jerky movements of your face and body that you can't control. You might blink your eyes, stick out your tongue, or wave your arms without meaning to do so. Not everyone who takes an antipsychotic drug will get it. But if it happens, it's sometimes permanent. So if you have movements you can't control, let your doctor know right away. It can also affect your arms, legs, fingers, and toes. That can cause you to wiggle your fingers, tap your feet, flap your arms, thrust out your pelvis, sway from side to side. Antipsychotic meds treat schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and other brain conditions. Doctors also call them neuroleptic drugs. They block a brain chemical called dopamine. It helps cells talk to each other and makes the muscles move smoothly. When you have too little of it, your movements can become jerky and out of control. You can get TD if you take an antipsychotic drug. Usually you have to be on it for three months or more. But there have been rare cases of it after a single dose of an antipsychotic medicine. Older versions of these drugs are more likely to cause this problem than newer ones. Antipsychotic medications that can cause tardive dyskinesia include antipsychotics like haloperidol, haltol, flufenazine, risperidone, risperidol, olanzapine, zyproxa. Your chances of getting TD go up the longer you take an antipsychotic medicine. Some drugs that treat nausea, reflux, and other stomach problems can also cause TD if you take them for more than three months. These include metoclopramide, reglan, prochlorpyrazine, compazine. TD can be hard to diagnose. Symptoms might not appear until months or years after you start taking antipsychotic medicine. Or you might first notice the movements after you've already stopped taking the drug. The timing can make it hard to know whether the medicine caused your symptoms. If you take medicine for mental health conditions, your doctor should check you at least once a year to make sure you don't have TD. They can give you a physical exam called the Abnormal Involuntary Movement Scale, which will help them rate any abnormal movements. Doctor can also do Tests to find out whether you have another disorder that causes abnormal movements, like cerebral palsy, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease, stroke, Tourette's syndrome. The goal is to prevent TD. When your doctor prescribes a new drug to treat a mental health disorder, ask about its side effects. The benefits of the drug should outweigh the risks. If you have movement problems, tell your doctor but don't stop taking the drug on your own. Your doctor can take you off the medicine that caused the movements or lower the dose. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Clinical Trials BBMCT. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please share, like and subscribe British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck.